Well, we've been dealing with a lot of cold weather lately, and what better way to heat up than with a nice bowl of soup? Elwin Greenwald from Elwin and Company is here to show us how to make a great potato corn chowder. Sounds Morning, delicious. how are you? Great to see you, yeah. and it smells so good. All right, so we're going to get cooking. Okay. I'm going to be your sous chef. Wonderful. <laughs> All right, so Wonderful. tell us what to do first. We're going to start in this large uh, pot, soup pot with olive oil and some butter. Okay. And we can put that in. Just a little butter Just there. A little bit of butter. And you've already got some olive oil in the pot. Do I need to add a little more or no? Uh, a little bit wouldn't hurt. Okay. All right. So what goes in after that? We're going to add our mirepoix, the vegetables, onions, carrots, and celery. All right. And, and that mirepoix is always a good base for soup. And then where's our spoon? And how long do you want all this stuff to hang out together? We want to saute this until the onions are translucent. Okay. Right? This is not only an assistant, but glamorous. This is wonderful. <laughs> I don't, I'm not used to this. All right, so while this is uh, moving around a bit, what do you love about this chowder? What's nice about the chowder is it's versatile. Mm -hmm. In its uh, richest state with the cream and the butter and the half and half, it's you know real nice and opulent. But it's also versatile enough that if we want to eliminate the flour, we can use like mashed potatoes to thicken it. Mm -hmm. Then we reduce the gluten. And use uh, some um, half and instead of half and half, we can use um, skim milk or regular milk. Okay. So, so how long should this well, go here? Well, we're going to pretend that those onions are translucent, okay. right? Okay. Right. So we want to do this over um, a medium-ish heat. Okay. And then we'll give it a minute. Zip zip. Blah, blah, blah. Zip okay. zip. And What's then next? We want to add the flour. All right. To I this. Oh, I have the flour. There. All right. And what is this doing? This what is, is this just doing? making a roux. Exactly. We're making a roux. And we're making a roux blended with the uh, the mirepoix. So we're always, whenever you use a roux, mm -hmm. always the liquid has to be hot. So now this liquid is a mixture of vegetable stock and half and half. Mm -hmm. Now we have different kind of toppings you can add or cook it with it. There's um, lobster tail, there's smoked turkey, and chicken. So if I was going to make this with lobster tail, mm -hmm. I would use clam juice and vegetable stock and in the uh, half and half so that you build flavor layers. And so okay. once the flour is in, what's next? We're going to pour in the hot liquid. All righty. I will let you do that. Oh, okay. <laughs> and you've got some spices, though, that you've, you've already added in there. I did, and they're have? winter spices. Okay. So we have dill and sage and um, thyme. These are nice cold climate spices. In thirds, we're going to add this. So what I'm going to do is make like that. Oi! <laughs> I asked you if you needed a raincoat. You said no. I figured I'd be able to. Do it. And we did. We and did we did. did. And we did. Okay. You see what's starting to thicken up now? Yeah, I do. It's making a nice base. Mm -hmm. And this way, when the liquid goes in, it automatically starts thickening. Now we're going to do this a little easier now. Okay. Bit better. And while you're doing this, just tell us where you guys are located. We are on the west side of Coolidge, mm -hmm. just south of 12 Mile Way in Berkeley. <laughs> it's like a Gallagher show. Okay, I'll help you out there. Okay. We're going to lower this just a little bit. All right, and, and when let folks that go there, I mean, they can find soups and chowders and oh you've my got God. all kinds, we have all kinds of things ready-made. What else Mac can they and find cheese, uh, tuna casserole, salmon patties, lasagna. I think that's your, one of your favorites, it the vegetable is. lasagna. It is. And all kinds of soups. And you all can also go soups. and get scones and you also have some things that are cold. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it's together. Well, this is like a little um, Super Bowl lunch. So there's mac and cheese, <laughs> uh, chili, uh, famous, our famous chocolate mousse cream cheese brownies, and a corn muffin. That's so that's, uh, and you can order those for large amounts. You don't have to just get them for one person. Oh, God, I just have to make a big mess. All right. <laughs> Let it all go in. See, how now everything is thickening up nicely. And, of course, the most important thing, the corn and the potatoes go in. Okay. And so you bring this to a boil? We bring it to a boil and then mm -hmm. simmer so that the flavors blend nicely together. All right. Give it a good stirring there. Okay. And it'll thicken up naturally, either with the flour or the mashed potatoes. It gives a nice thickening. And, and what happens is we have this. <laughs> so just to finish a little bit, we'll put in a little bit of lemon juice. Give it a little correcting with the salt and pepper. All right. And you're going to plate some up for yeah, us? Yeah, we're going to put some right in this bowl. And what we'll have is potato and corn chowder. And we have different toppings for it, either the a shrimp or smoked turkey or chicken. And those go right on top like that. So lemon zest for the color and always fresh parsley and potato and corn chowder. It smells incredible and this is perfect comfort food, right? Perfect. All right, I've got my spoon, so okay. hand over the bowl. All right, here you go. <laughs> Thank you. We're going to have all the details and the recipe on our website, wxyz.com. Just check the scene on 7 section.